uh, President Kinlock, uh, Board of Governors, faculty, staff, students, family, and friends. Good morning, and congratulations to the graduating class of 2017. It is my sincere honor and privilege for me to have the opportunity to be here to speak with you this morning as you celebrate your hard work and the many accomplishments that you've achieved in your time here at BCIT and as you prepare to move on to this next exciting chapter in your journey. As I was preparing for today and thinking about what could I possibly bring to, to all of you, it got me to reflecting uh, on the world that you are entering into and how as in my role as Chief People Officer at Coast Capital Savings, where it's my job to hire the best and the brightest talent that we need for the future, I got to feeling a lot more confident about the future of my organization and other companies because of the talent that is in this room today. And we heard from President Kinlock just a couple of the highlights uh, of the amazing uh, things that you are going to do for, for our world. BCIT has helped prepare you to enter a world that I believe needs you now more than ever. Now, if we're honest, there's probably a couple of you in the room who are saying, yeah, of course, the world needs me, I'm ready. My 14-year-old my son thinks he's ready for, for the world. But I know that when I was sitting in your seats, I had some fear and some wonder about what was it that I could possibly uh, bring to, to organizations. So let me share with you today uh, what it is that I believe about this graduating class and others like you today that the world so very desperately needs. Thought leader Simon Sinek, the author of Starting With Why, has put forward a proposition that says, people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. They don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. And what we know today is that millennials, of which many of you are, more than any other generation understand the sense of purpose and having a greater why. In fact, over 85% of millennials today believe that an organization's success should be measured on something that's far greater than just their financial performance. Now, given the reality of today's rapidly changing global economy, the geopolitical instability that we are faced with every day, climate change, the rapidly changing expectations of the workplace and of consumers, it's all left countries, companies, and importantly, individuals asking the question, why? Why do I exist? Why am I here? How can my why make a greater difference in the world? Why should I choose to work for this company? And how are they gonna help me achieve what matters most in my life? What we know today is that having a clear sense of purpose to answer that question of why, it matters. And what we see at Coast Capital Savings and what we know about new graduates is that you are clearer than ever on your purpose and how you can truly impact the world in a meaningful way. And we need you to help the previous generations who haven't quite yet figured this out because we still live in a world where short-term focus on profits drives the majority of organizations today. But what we do know is that companies who are driven by something greater than just profits outperform others on the S&P 500 by as much as 140%. You have the chance to help your organizations of the future answer their why in helping the world while steering them on to greater financial success. Now, I don't want you to walk out of here today feeling a bit deflated if you haven't quite yet fully figured out your purpose. For me, my purpose, which is to be a catalyst and champion for others, enabling them to realize something in themselves tomorrow that they may not have believed possible today, has been a work in progress for many years. But I'll tell you, it's been a work that's been very time well spent because understanding my purpose in life has made my path, including some of the roadblocks and the bumps that I've faced along the way, one that I now understand and where I can clearly see the road ahead and where I know I will have greater impact on others. Now you should know that on your journey to understanding your purpose, you learn as much, if not more, from your failures as you do from your successes. And I promise I won't I won't spend too much time talking about failures, but I think there's important lessons here. Uh, Oprah Winfrey once said that sometimes you find out what you're supposed to be doing by doing the things you're not supposed to be doing. So it's like you've likely heard others say, and I will say it to you, fail fast and fail often, because unfortunately, failure is going to be inevitable along the way. But for every supposed failure that you encounter, 
I encourage you to choose to view that as an opportunity to improve your success rate in the future. Because for me, these moments taught me things about myself that I could not have learned any other way. Whether it was the wrong decision to join a company, and I did make a couple of those in, in the past, uh, or when my three and a half year old son was diagnosed with leukemia, I learned that I have a strong will and far more resiliency than I ever imagined I could have. I would share with you that these moments, for me, in them I learned that life is about perspective. And if you view your glass as always half full, it will be. But conversely, if you view it as half empty, it will also be. The knowledge, though, that you've emerged stronger and wiser from setbacks means that you will be more confident and prepared to face the future. Now, BCIT has also prepared you to be resilient in change, which is a critical success factor in organizations today, yet it's a skill set that I find many employees still lack. Now, I'm sure you've seen much change here in your time at BCIT, and one of the only things that I know to be 100% true is that the pace of change today is as slow as it will ever be. So your ability to remain agile and open in times of change, seeing change as an opportunity, and inspiring others through change will be what separates you as a leader, and it will provide you with the opportunity to shape your career versus others shaping it for you. Be the first to raise your hand for new challenges. Learn quickly and adapt, because these will be the key elements to your success tomorrow. So let's talk about technology. You know, we've all heard about uh, the implications for the world of work as a result of the rapidly changing technological advancements in the areas of artificial intelligence, autonomous vehicles, robotics, human to machine learning, and of course, big data. Many individuals today choose to focus on the fear of job loss that will come as a result uh, of technological advancement. Some suggest that up to 50% of jobs will be replaced by technology in the next few decades. But for me, I choose to focus on the opportunity that I believe this brings for you. I want you to be confident knowing that BCIT has prepared you for the kind of jobs we need for this new economy. Your comfort with technology is a differentiator, and it's one that you must never lose. Now, some of you are probably saying, yeah, right, I'm never going to turn out like my parents. I, I do that frequently as I'm arguing with my father who doesn't understand how Wi-Fi works, or my father-in-law who literally just got rid of his flip phone. But I do hate to tell you that you are going to get older, uh, and as you do, you, you are at risk of not evolving uh, as rapidly uh, as you need to. So never lose your interest in new technologies and keep yourself current. I had the opportunity to work with a number of great thought leaders around the world, and through them, um, they have taught me to bring a rigor and a discipline to remaining current in my years of expertise. And you heard President Kinlock give you a couple of uh, recommendations of things that you need to do, and I would echo those. Read, be a ferocious reader, find mentors, Open yourself to new experiences far outside your comfort zone. Travel, find new foods, meet new people. Because today, life is about experience and interaction, not strong technical capabilities, though they will no longer be just enough. Develop your emotional intelligence or your EQ. The top performing companies on the Fortune 100, 90% uh, of those have CEOs who have higher than average EQ, while they have only average IQ. So today, we are hiring for what you've maybe heard called those soft skills. Develop empathy for others. Uh, this will be key to your ability to connect, influence, and ultimately impact those around you. By focusing on relationships and experiences, that will provide you, as it has me, the opportunity to innovate and positively impact the organizations that I've been a part of in ways that would not have otherwise been possible. I also challenge you to bring your thirst for learning and your hunger for it to, to your organizations. As a learner, you've developed the innovation capabilities our organizations are hungry for. Many of you are entrepreneurs, but I would say all of you are intrapreneurs. Your future organizations are waiting for your fresh perspectives. We're waiting for your curiosity on why we do the things the way that we do, and just maybe some fresh ideas on possibly not doing those same things the way that we've always done them. At BCIT, you've learned diversity of thought, and what can be achieved through co collaboration. And there's much that we can learn from you. Top companies today like General Electric and, and Cisco have embraced the network organization and they're moving away from the traditional hierarchies that many of us grew up in. 
They see new graduates and they understand that, that you work within a network of peers. You work virtually, digitally, and socially. Your comfort in this new environment ensures collaboration and collaborative problem solving, new thinking, and ultimately better solutioning. So please teach our leaders how to lead in this new world. My th final thoughts for you this morning are on leadership. Many of you in this room have been leaders, and many of you will be the future leaders in our organizations, whether you're formal people leaders or you're informal thought leaders. Over my career, I've worked with hundreds of great leaders from whom I've learned the following lessons. Great leaders are humble, they're curious, and they're courageous. Great leaders are role models, they are accountable, and they empower others. Great leaders are mentors, they take risks on people, and they are authentic in each and every interaction. Great leaders listen more than they speak. Some leaders are still working on that. They put developing their people as their top priority, and they seek to surround themselves by others who are more talented than they are. Great leaders recognize that they don't always have to be the smartest person in the room. It was Michael Dell who once said, try never to be the smartest person in the room. If you are, I suggest you invite smarter people or find a different room. In conclusion, the world needs you now more than ever. Take your lessons learned here at BCIT and keep them with you in your next chapters as you lead our organizations into the future for the better. I wish you much content, continued success and congratulations to you all again.